Here's an example of calculating area in polar coordinates. The problem is to calculate the area enclosed by the inner loop of the curve r equals 1 minus 2 cosine theta. Now what do I mean by inner loop? Well, we need to sketch the curve to understand what we're supposed to be doing. So here are the axes. Now at theta equals zero, r is equal to minus one. So we start at the point minus one comma zero. And r will continue to be negative until cosine theta equals a half. But that will happen at theta equals pi over three. It will also happen at five pi over three. We'll need that later. So let's draw these lines here as guides. So this is theta equals pi over three. And this line here, which is theta equals five pi over three. Okay, so r starts at one, it goes down to zero when theta is pi over three. And at theta equals pi over two, r has gone up to one. So we hit the point zero, one. So this is where theta is pi over two. This was theta equals zero. And when theta goes up to pi, r goes all the way up to three. So we're gonna hit the point minus three, zero, at theta equals pi. And then it's symmetric, so we're gonna go back down to r equals one at theta equals three pi over three. So here at theta equals, sorry, three pi over two. So here we're at the point zero comma minus one. R will go back down to zero when R, when, well, sorry, when theta is five pi over three, and then we'll go back where we started. So we wanna calculate the area of this inner region here. So how do we do that? Well, area, is the integral of r squared over two. So I have one minus two cosine theta squared over two d theta. Now, what are the limits of integration? Well, the part of the curve we care about goes between theta equals five pi over three and theta equals pi over three. So you might think that the limits of integration should be pi over three and five pi over three, but that's not quite right. So if we integrate it from pi over three to five pi over three, then we would get the area of the following. So the as theta starts at pi over three and goes up to five pi over three, the curve looks like this. So you get the area of this entire region. So that's sort of the whole region bounded by the outer part of the curve. And that's not what we want. I just want the inner region. And you could say, well, maybe we should integrate from five pi over three to pi over three, but that will just give you minus this area, which is also not what you want. To get the correct limits, you need to remember that theta is only defined up to adding integer multiples of two pi. So theta equals five pi over three was the same as theta equals minus pi over three. So if we start at theta equals minus pi over three and go up to theta equals plus pi over three, then, then, then we're gonna see the inner part of the curve, which is what we want. So the correct limits are minus pi over three and pi over three. There's one more subtlety, which is that over this interval, r is negative. And when I derived the area formula, I was assuming that R is always positive. That was just to avoid some confusion about saying what the region is. So when R is always negative, this will still give you the area. The fact that you have an R squared means you won't get any negative numbers. So this integral will give you the area of this region with pi slices um, sort of corresponding to the way I've drawn the lines here in this region. Okay, so then this is the integral for minus pi over three to pi over three of one minus four cosine theta plus four cosine squared theta over two d theta. 
And to integrate this, you can use the identity cosine squared theta equals 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. And I'll spare you all the details. You can do this yourself for practice if you like. And the final answer you get is pi minus 3 times the square root of 3 over 2. And just as a reality check, we should make sure this is positive. But we know that the square root of 3 is less than 2. So when I multiply it by 3 halves, I get something which is less than 3, and pi is bigger than 3. So that is indeed positive.